In this video, I am going to share a very simple and quick way to strengthen your weak voice. So stay tuned. Hi, I am Katerina, speech-language pathologist, and here on this channel I share practical tips about using your voice in a healthy way. So if this is a topic that interests you, consider subscribing to this channel and hitting that bell notification icon so that you don't miss any of my future videos. The vocal exercises that I am going to share in this video are not fancy. They are simple exercises that you may already know, but they are very effective if you use them in a very specific way. Many members in our coaching program use these exercises to build vocal strength and they really work. They are suitable for anyone with a weak voice, for people whose voice tires quickly, for people who have trouble projecting their voice, or for people who have difficulties sustaining long sounds. But before I show you a set of simple exercises, let me explain what is the most important part of strengthening the voice. The key to building a strong and resilient voice is sticking to a routine. I like to use an example of going to the gym. If you want to build a six pack, you do not go to gym once or for a week. If you really want to build muscle strength, you need to go to the gym and lift the weights regularly. If you go once a week, you get stronger slowly over a long period of time. If you go three times a week, you will see results faster. But if you go to the gym every day, even for a short period of time, you will gain muscle strength fairly quickly. And the same applies to your voice. Doing an exercise once will not do anything for your voice. Regular practice will, and the more frequent the exercise, the better results. And I'm going to tell you exactly how much and for how long to strengthen your voice. If you are experiencing vocal strain, tension, or even pain when speaking, and you are ready, really ready to work towards a free, strong, and confident voice, you can apply to our Vocal Freedom System coaching program Check out the links in the description below this video. The following exercise routine was inspired by so-called vocal function exercises. And if you worked with a local speech-language pathologist before or you've gone through voice therapy, then you may be familiar with some of these exercises. They are simple but very specific sounds that anyone can make and they follow a very strict regime. For our purposes, we are going to use any SOVT or semi-occluded vocal tract exercise. You can choose humming or straws or fricatives or nasals. I am going to demonstrate on a sound with a straw, but as I said, you can hum or do lip trills. It's your choice. Semi-occluded vocal Tract exercises are exercises that have a partial narrowing or occlusion somewhere along the vocal tract. In straw exercises, the narrowing is here at the front of the mouth, right there. This setup creates a back pressure that is reflected back at the vocal folds, which helps them vibrate more efficiently. If you have never done straw exercises before, then start with a straw that has uh, least resistance, so it's short or very wide. There is one big rule about the sounds you make for this exercise. You need to know how to make these sounds in a healthy way. So basically, if you can sustain a sound without pushing, straining, tension or pain, then you are good to go. We are going to sustain five sounds and do some up and down sirens. By making these sounds, we are strengthening the muscles that 
bring the vocal folds together and keep them together. We are also strengthening the muscles that stretch the vocal folds and also the muscles that shorten the vocal folds. Exercise number one, five different sounds. So first choose five sounds or pitches in your comfortable range. I will go for G to D, but of course you choose a set of five notes that is comfortable for you. If you don't know the names of the notes, don't worry, just use any five sounds in your comfortable range. Now, you are going to sustain each note twice for as long as you comfortably can. Do not push the last bit of breath at the end of each note. Are you ready? Let's do it together. I will start with G. And one more time. Now A. And again. Now I am going to be and again. Very good, now let's go to C. And again. And finally, the fifth note is D. And one more time. Excellent. Exercise number two, sirens. Now, let's do a few sirens through a straw. Do not push too hard through the straw. It is a gentle sound, a small sound. If you push too hard, you can create tension and we don't want that. Also, you don't need to go too high in your range. Keep it in your comfortable range. And with this exercise, we are strengthening the muscles responsible for lengthening and shortening the vocal folds. Are you ready? Make a siren in your comfortable range. Mm -hmm. 
Excellent! Not too hard, right? If you find these exercises easy, write easy in the comments below this video. Okay, but as I said, the most important part of strengthening exercises is a regular routine. So, how often and how long should you do these exercises? The whole routine with exercise number one and number two takes less than 10 minutes. And you notice that we did each, each exercise twice. Now, you want to repeat this 10 minute routine twice a day in the morning and then in the afternoon or in the evening. It's 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes later in the day every day. If you really stick to the schedule, you should see results in a couple of weeks. And that's it. No fancy exercises, no need for audio tracks, just simple exercises done every day. If you are dealing with vocal tension, strain or even pain when using your voice, I made a video in which I walk you through seven steps that lead to a strong voice without tension. If you want to know what voice, body and mind considerations you need to take to truly free your voice, click the link in the description below this video to find out more. If you found this video helpful, click the like button and share it with your friends and check out other videos on using your voice in a healthy way right here below. I hope to see you soon. Bye!